Welcome back everyone, Brett Canada here, Juice Feaster on all the social media platforms and I'm on a mission to cleanse, regenerate and transform 1 million people with the magical powers of juicing. In today's video, in my quest to make sure that you are cleansing, regenerating and transforming, I need to make sure that you have the best juicer that fits your needs. So part of what I do is to review juicers, find the strengths and weaknesses on them to help you make the best decision possible for your best juicer that fits your needs. So I'm going to be reviewing the Kuvings Juicer Company Revo 830 juicer today. This is a new release from the Kuvings Juicer Company and they've made a couple of really great improvements on this juicer compared to the other juicers in their catalog. The first main strength that I see about this juicer is the fact, and it's different than the other juicers that they have, is they've added this auto cut chute. This is an inch 1.75 inch diameter vertical cut chute, which allows you to drop whole celery, whole carrots, whole cucumbers, greens straight in without chopping them. And what this does, it saves you time with regards to the fact you don't have to chop these things up to go into the feed chute. And this, the screw auger actually cuts cuts these pieces of produce up for you. And it also prevents clogging at the pulp outlet chute, which is a common complaint in other vertical cold press juicers. So not only is it going to save you time in terms of the preparation time of your ingredients by being able to drop these ingredients straight in, but it's also going to save time because it's not going to clog. Now I've been running this juicer through the motions and I've ran everything through it. All the fibrous stuff, celery, carrots, ginger, all these things, and I have not experienced clogging at the pulp outlet chute once. So huge improvement on behalf of Kuvings for this edition of the auto cut chute and the new and improved cutter auger that cuts the produce for you. Now, not only does it have this vertical cut chute, it also has a three and a half inch round chute with a flip cap on the top. This large diameter feed chute allows you to drop whole apples, whole oranges, whole beets, handfuls of berries straight into that chute without chopping them up at all. Now this is also a huge time saver compared to other juicers where you have to chop things to go into the feed chute. This is a huge deal being able to have that ability to drop things straight in. This juicer is super fast. It, it really blows my mind how quickly that you can make a ton of juice with this juicer. Now, the next improvement that they made on this juicer compared to the other juicers in their catalog is they made the motor bigger and stronger. This motor is a 240 watt motor compared to their other motors, which, is, which are 200 watts and other juicers typically in this vertical cold press masticating style category are also 200 watts. So coming in at 240 watts uh, really brings a lot of juicing power with it. So when we talk about dropping in carrots and ginger and celery and beets, whole beets into the, the feed chute here, this juicer gobbles them up with absolutely no problem. And also with that high powered motor compared to all their other juicers and other juicers on the market, this juicer can run longer. So it has a 45 minute run time compared to other juicers in this particular style, which typically are in that 30 minute range. So you can run this at least 45 minutes with no problems. Personally, I've run this juicer, uh, I've operated it for longer than 45 minutes. And if you're running uh, things that are softer like pineapple or citrus or things berries things of that nature you can certainly run this juicer longer but if you start running carrot carrots and beets and and hard roots and fruits um, 45 minutes is the recommended run time on this juicer now another thing that they did on this juicer was to increase the size of the juice outlet chute and the pulp outlet chute so this also makes it not only easier to clean after you're done juicing, it, it also makes it uh, less likely to clog. So two big improvements there uh, with the motor speed, I guess three improvements, the cut chute and the auger, 
the motor power and the size of the juice outlet and the pulp outlet chute. A lot of juicers in the vertical cold press style like this in the same price range have problems with clogging at the pulp outlet chute. So this juicer, the improvements that they've made on it with this auto cutter and the pulp outlet chute being bigger, eliminated those problems. So some huge improvements on the Revo 830 uh, over other juicers in the market and also compared to their own juicers. So kudos to Kuvings. Now for the basics that are really the same through all the other Kuvings juicer lineup. This is a low speed or a slow cold press masticating juicer, meaning that the auger that actually does the juicing and pressing of the produce spins at a very low RPM. It's 50 RPMs, one of the lowest on the market. What does this do for you? It prevents oxidation and it prevents heat. And those two things are the enemy of the nutrition in the produce that you're juicing. And why do we juice? We're juicing for these nutrients. So anything that we can do in the juicing process, namely slow down the speed and do it at a cold temperature or a room temperature without generating any heat, this preserves the nutrition. It allows you to get the optimal nutrition that you're looking for in the juice. And it also allows you to store the juices for a little bit longer compared to a high speed juicer. High speed juicers, I don't recommend storing the juice any longer than 24 hours. But with a juicer like this, no problem storing these juices topped up and sealed in the fridge for up to three days, no problem whatsoever. The Revo 830 also comes with a couple of other juicing screens. There is a fine mesh screen, which is what is used to make juice with low levels of pulp and a very, very smooth pulp-free juice. The second is called a smoothie strainer. That strainer has larger holes in the screen, and this allows you to have more pulp and more of a smoothie or a thicker texture on the juice. And it also comes with a blank screen that I call the sorbet screen, which allows you to make frozen fruit sorbets or what I call nice cream. So having those three options gives you some versatility in the types of beverages or frozen treats that you can make on this juicer. This juicer will also make nut milks, no problem, uh, using either the smoothie screen or the fine mesh juice screen. You can juice almonds, um, walnuts, coconut, oats, anything like that that you're looking to make an alternative milk product with, this juicer does great with that as well. Some other items that come with this juicer that are really handy. The juicer comes with a cleaning device to help you clean off the juicing screen. You put this cleaner on which has some brushes in it and run this under water or some soap and water and those brushes actually clean off the screen really quickly comes with a brush as well to get any nooks and crannies, which is awesome. The juicer also comes with two different sized pulp and juice collection pitchers. You can alternate depending upon the size of the batch that you're making. If you're making something like a 48 ounce juice, you can use the larger pitcher. Or if you're making like a, a 30 ounce juice, you can use a smaller pitcher and, and switch those up between pulp and juice outlet. Also comes with a tamper here that fits on the top to push any produce down the auto cut chute if you need to, or anything in the larger feed chute as well. Now, this juicer does not come with a citrus attachment standard, and most other vertical cold press juicers in this category and in this price range do not come with a citrus attachment. You can easily juice citrus on this juicer very easily as a matter of fact by using this larger feed chute dropping them in whole the only slow part about that is you have to peel the peel off the citrus grapefruit oranges lemons and limes if you choose to do so and that takes some time if you would like to save time the kuvings does have an add-on purchase that you can buy as a citrus attachment you simply remove the main juicer 
drop the citrus attachment on and you can use the Revo 830 as a juice reamer. And simply in this method, you basically cut the citrus in half and use them as a normal citrus attachment. So that's a great addition if you juice a lot of citrus like I do. It's nice to have that citrus attachment. Once again, it does not come standard with the unit. It's an additional purchase. The one thing that I really like about the Kuvings line of juicers is that they come with an incredible warranty. The Revo 830 has a 15-year warranty, which not only includes the motor, but it also includes all the parts. Now, on other juicers, they may have a 12 or a 15-year warranty on the motor, but only a three-year, a four, a five-year warranty on the parts. So make sure that you look up the details on the warranty and the fine print on the warranty of any juicer that you're looking at, just to make sure that if it says 15 years, it covers everything that you're looking for. So total 15 year warranty on the Kuvings juicer, which is the best in the industry. Now, are there any things that I don't like about the Revo 830? The Revo 830 is a little bit larger in terms of its size. It measures at 19 inches tall and 16 and a half pounds in size. The weight is a little bit heavier by virtue of the fact of the upgraded motor size. By having a larger motor, it's going to weigh a little bit more. Now, 16 and a half pounds is not terribly heavy, and I recommend that you keep this juicer on the counter in the same spot consistently so that you can make juice with it daily without any questions. If you do have to move it, it is gonna be a little bit heavier. If you have smaller counter spaces and you need to move it around a little bit, it is gonna be a little bit heavier, so just keep that in mind. Not much more than other juicers in its category, but anywhere from three to five pounds heavier than other juicers in its category. The other thing that's a little bit uh, of a con about this juicer is its height. This juicer is 19 inches tall from the base up to the top of the vertical cut chute. And if you add in the pusher, it's a couple inches more. So we're looking at about 21 inches in height. This, depending upon your cabinet height above your counter, it may not fit underneath your cabinets. My cabinets are a little bit lower. They're at like 18 inches. So this does not fit directly underneath the cabinet on my countertop. So that could be perceived as one potential drawback in your kitchen. In terms of the juicing capability, the power, the runtime, the clogging, the yield, the pulp in the juice, this juicer, in my opinion, in my experience with it thus far, does great. The pulp level in the juice I find to be moderate and compared to other juicers in its category, very, very acceptable. The yield is a little bit higher, and I think that's by virtue of the improved cutter, the improved auger, and the improved pulp outlet design of this juicer. So I think they've made some tweaks to the design on this juicer at Kuvings, and kudos to them for making those improvements because I think it's, it's uh, really stepped up the game on the Kuvings Revo A30. Let me know what your thoughts are about the Revo 830 juicer in the comments. I'd love to know what you think about this juicer. What juicer do you have on your countertop? Are you looking to upgrade? What juicer do you love the best? Let me know what juicer you're interested in comparing to the Revo 830, and I'll be happy to make some videos about that. Check the link in the description box below. Oftentimes I have discount codes for juicers and you can check the current price of this juicer by clicking the link in the description box below. That's all I have for the Revo 830 today. It's been fun to put this into the rotation of the juicers that I'm using. I consider it as one of the top juicers I've been using thus far, and I look forward to comparing it to other juicers in future videos. So that's all I have right now. Until we speak again, I encourage you to make lots of juice, drink it all, and stay juicy. Cheers, my friends.